Hey guys, it's Brie. I wanted to show you what I will be reading this March because it is time for monthly TBR. <laughs> so I have a couple of things on my list. The first one is a carryover from last month. It's The Tenant of Wildfell Hall. Um, I did wind up reading Valette and afterwards I think I just needed a break from the Brontes. Um, but this is on my reading list. I kind of put it off, uh, but I am looking forward to picking it up and finishing it this month. I'm going to finally be reading The Luminaries. I feel like I've been saying this over and over and over. Um, I'm really looking forward to reading it, and it, it's kind of a chunker, um, but I don't think it's going to take me as long as I feel like it is. Um, it's kind of one of those books that's intimidating until you've started it, I think. Uh, but I think once I start it, I will really love it, and I will just probably wind up devouring it. I'm going to be reading with Ottavio over at the Galilean Library and Maya from Maya Reads. I will link both of their channels down below uh, in their Strange in March read-along. Uh, Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell by Susanna Clark. This is also a chunker, but they've spread it out and made this really handy-dandy uh, timesheet, so it winds up being like 200 pages a week. Um, and I'm really looking forward to it. It's been on my list of books to read for quite some time. And of course, it is kind of a genre classic. So I'm really looking forward to it. I will again link their channels below. They're using the hashtag Strange in March and the BookTube Reading Buddies group if you want to read along with us. I'm going to be reading Kabu Kabu by uh, Nanetti Okorafor. I read a couple months ago Okorafor's Who Fears Death, and I really like her prose style, even though sometimes the story wasn't always doing it for me, and I was really interested to read more of her work, so I went and I picked this one up. It's supposed to be about a taxi cab, I think. Yeah, uh, they're unregistered illegal Nigerian uh, taxis, and of course it's Okorafor, so it goes off into kind of a magical realism kind of and I'm looking forward to it. I'm thinking I'm going to pick that up actually this next week. I'm also going to be picking up Nalo Hopkinson's uh, The New Moon's Arms. This is about a woman who used to have kind of magical powers and over time they kind of disappeared from her life but now she's getting older. Her power to find things and to have things kind of that were lost being attracted to her has returned and a little lost boy shows up at her door. I'm really excited for this one. I am just finishing up her other book, Sister Mine, and I don't know how to describe it yet. I'll probably do a full review, but I really like Hopkinson's stuff. I really, there's just something so appealing about the way that she writes. If you have read any of these books, let me know. I'm really thinking I'm going to have a good month. Um, and so part of me just doesn't even know where to start with these. If you have any suggestions for that, <laughs> let me know. Um, if there are any of these that you want to see a review of, I would be happy to do that for you. I hope you're having a fantastic reading week. I will talk to you later. Bye.